Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Steve. Today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about what the best brand name bicycles are to buy to make fast cash. Now, the motivation behind this video is actually from one of the subscribers, and his name is X Straight Up Dupex. And he asks, Steve, can you make a video describing a lot of brands to look out for, especially the ones that hold the most value? Hey, sure, man, I'll make a video. All right, the first thing that you wanna focus on when trying to decide what bikes to buy is what types of bicycles you know to look out for there's really two main categories and the two categories are vintage road and mountain bikes and current day road and mountain bikes now when it comes to vintage road bikes there's really a lot of brands that you could buy to make some quick cash and easy cash um, I'm gonna name some off and if you guys come across these vintage road bikes for typically less than $50, you're gonna usually make money regardless. All right guys, the, the best brands to buy for vintage road bikes are Schwinn, Fuji, Nishiki, Bianchi, Centurion, Trek, Moda Bacane, Univega, Peugeot, Shogun, Ross, and Raleigh. I mean, those are a handful of brands that I've sold multiple times and they're collectible items and they sell really quick. Now my favorite ones out of those vintage road bikes, I would say are the Peugeot, bi the Peugeot bikes, I can't pronounce it, the Trek, the older Fuji and Schwinn's, and Shogun, you know. Oh, don't forget Raleigh, those are, those are awesome. Um, now in terms of current day road bikes from like 95 and up, um, Cannondale, Trek, Specialized, uh, Jameis, Giant and Surly. Surly is an awesome brand, but you know what? When it comes to vintage road bikes and mountain uh, and current day road bikes, you're usually gonna buy the vintage ones. Um, most of the current day road bikes, um, I, don't, I don't see them too much for good deals, so you're probably gonna be focusing on the vintage road bikes. So take a look at that list. You know, feel free to pause the video and write them down and you know, just have something to be able to keep your eye out for. All right, guys, now in terms of mountain bikes, when it comes to vintage mountain bikes, the best ones to buy, my favorite is GT. Um, also look out for Gary Fishers, Trex, Cannondales, and Surleys. Just like the road bikes, those are also very good for mountain bikes. Um, and the same thing applies for mountain bikes. I usually buy the vintage mountain bikes, um, but if you do run across these current day mountain bikes, buy them because they're really good brands. Uh, Kona, Giant, Rocky Mountain, Trek, and Jameis. Now these are the, the bread and butter of the brand, so keep your eyes out for these folks. Now I wanna talk about some brands that you definitely don't wanna buy regardless. I mean, just stay away from these brands. And I'm gonna talk about a few exceptions to the rule of not buying these, these uh, specific bikes, but for now, take a look at these brands and just delete them out of your brain because these, you don't want these. Mongoose, Huffy, Diamondback, Murray, Next, the newer Schwinn bikes, uh, vintage Free Spirit bikes, and vintage Columbia bikes. I, I don't like those. And Roadmaster. Um, the rule of thumb is if Walmart sells the bike, you probably don't want it. All right, guys, and the exceptions to the rule of buying those brand name bikes are price and condition and having a buyer lined up. For instance, the other day I actually did buy a newer Schwinn bike and I bought a, forget what it was, it might have been a Roadmaster. Now these are bikes that I usually don't buy, but you know, if you could get them for $4.99 or $3.99 at the thrift store, I mean, there's a market for them. People will pay 20, 30 bucks for them. So also those bikes were like brand new. So if you could get one of those crummier brands for like practically nothing and are in good shape, you know, pick them up, but you're not gonna make a lot of money like those other brands that I talked about. And also, another exception to the rule is, um, say you have a friend or maybe you made some contacts on Craigslist and they said, listen, Steve, I wanna buy a Murray bike, I'm willing to pay 40 bucks. Well, if you come across one for 10, 15 bucks, you might as well just pick it up, make a few bucks on the side. So, price and condition and having a buyer lined up are really the only exceptions. Well, you guys, that was just a quick video. Thanks for watching, and uh, go flip some bikes and make some cash. Take care, folks.